Hello, welcome back to my tech farm. This is a small add-on video on NF5S1 CD printer review, which I did a few weeks ago. And I was thinking a lot if I want to record this video, but then I saw a lot of confused users in the Facebook group and I decided to record it. So in this video you can see a few tips, but most important is how to update the firmware and why should you wait with it if you see that these are the latest firmware update versions. I already mentioned that uh, this printer uses this uh, limit switch on the bottom for the homing of the z-axis and uh, with this it is slower question is the accuracy because now the reference point is down here for the zero coordinate of the z and if I replace the bed with a different thickness I have to change the z offset if it uses the sear touch for the z homing it always touch the top of the surface so even if I place a thicker glass here I don't have to change anything in the settings and a few users uh, wrote me that if I upgrade to 1.0.6 firmware, uh, it used the sear touch for the Z homing. Okay, I'll give it a try. And uh, it didn't work correctly, but it looks like to somebody it works. I couldn't check the exact version of the uh, mainboard because the, it is under the hot glue. So it looks like for somebody is working, for somebody not. But anyway, I will show you how to update the firmware, what is the correct process, because we have to do it separately on the screen and separately for the mainboard. And if you decide to try it uh, and it, if it doesn't work, use the same process to go back to 1.0.5. Okay, let's see the updating of the firmware process. On creality.com website, support download center, this is Ender 5S1 and I have to download this firmware which I want to upload. It's a zip file after unzipping we have this uh, readme file. This is the instruction for this pre firmware update. The point is that we have to uh, format a TF card with allocation unit size of 2096 bytes. And we finished with this. Then we have to copy the private folder to it. So I'm copying. This is the SD card. Paste and the SD card is prepared. Now we have to prepare the printer. With removing these eight bolts, uh, we can remove this uh, bottom plate and inserting the TF card, turn on the printer and after approximately two minutes, the firmware will be updated. And we can turn off the printer and remove the SD card. I'm placing back this uh, cover and now I can move to the mainboard update. But for this we need full size SD card. These are the instructions for the mainboard firmware update. The point is that we have to format again that uh, full size SD card, but now with allocation unit size of 32 kilobytes. And then we have to copy this folder, which includes that uh, bin file to it. And this is that bin file and the SD card is prepared inserting the SD card into printer, turning on and after approximately half minutes the firmware will be updated and we can check it going to the about and this is now 1.0.6. I can turn off the printer and remove the SD card and the printer is ready with the new firmware. Everything started correctly, it used the sear touch for the Z homing and here I'm setting the Z offset as a first step then the manual bed leveling and the silicon columns works great. I didn't have to change anything because the leveling was uh, already set earlier. Then I moved to the auto leveling. I click uh, start and it started with the Z homing using the sear touch. And uh, it started the auto leveling touching several points on the plate but it couldn't finish. And uh, it dropped the E203 error. And after restarting the printer it stuck with E202 error. So after this I decided to go back to 1.0.5 and after this it works correctly but again it uses the bottom limit switch for that homing. In the review video I only mentioned it if you chamfer the edge of this teflon tube it will be easier to insert the filament. And I got several messages uh, what do I mean with chamfering of the edge. Well uh, if I cut the end of the filament on the 45 degree angle and I try to insert it it will hit the end of this uh, bobbin tube. And if I chamfer the edge, in that case, uh, inserting of the filament is much smoother. But let's see my method. So when I insert the filament at the first attempt, it always stucks. It even tries to push out this teflon tube. So I take it out and I used a twist drill to chamfer the 
inner edge of this tube only on one side you can use the scissors for example only pay attention that you don't have a pieces inside this teflon tube because it will not be melted in the hot end and after this i placed back this teflon tube and now inserting the filament is smooth this is the screen and this is that uh, buzzer and for my test it is too loud so i used some flexible filament i inserted into this hole and then I use some captain tape to glue it to stay in the place. And after this the sound is much acceptable. But decide yourself. I believe soon we will get a new functional and tested firmware, probably after the programmers will be back from the Chinese New Year's holidays, because this can be a great printer. Things which I really would like to upgrade here is already mentioned linear rails on x-axis instead of the v-slot wheels I hope we can see the current z-axis coordinate during the printing and after this uh, of course fixture uh, To use the CI touch for the z homing and not the limit switch and this can be great and fast in the printer And I don't even need a correct swipe printer Okay, if you have some additional comments uh, or experience with the uh, Ender 5S1, uh, then you know, write me if you like in the comment section. Especially if you have a functional firmware, then I'm curious because, uh, of course, I want to upgrade, but uh, when it will be functional. Thank you for watching and happy printing!